uh, give me a perspective from you know October of 2022 to October of 2023. A lot has happened in your world. A lot has happened with this men's basketball team here. Uh, how have things changed here at FAU uh, in one year, from your perspective? You know, I, I think that the brand of FAU locally, nationally, um, is at a much higher level than it's ever been, and it's been fun to watch. And you know, just just marketing a top 10 basketball team in the preseason AP poll coming off a Final Four run, finishing last year number five in the AP poll, uh, has been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun um, with the success of this basketball program and there's been benefits to you know the university, the athletic department, um, really uh, really all of our 19 sports. You know the, the success of the, the football program, um, you know, recently coming off a big win at, at South Florida, uh, we're thrilled for, for that program and, and we think there's uh, tremendous uh, future uh, and under Coach Herman's leadership in the, in, within the football program as well. Can you talk a little bit about the, uh, the magnitude from the men's basketball program following the season and just the, the popularity and, as you said, marketing this team now and, and all the attention this university has gotten. Can you just sort of sum it up and capitalize on what it's meant for you and what it's meant for the university to see all this pouring of popularity come in? And with that, the marketing dollars and the money that have come in, the fan base, Everything just combined. Yeah. It's the growth of the fan base. We're, we're a young university, and, and the reason you have Division One athletics is to provide exposure for the university. You know, that's that's why we exist. You know, we, we exist to, to compete and to uh, compete at the highest level and, and to graduate student athletes, etc. But it's also to have Division One athletes. Our goal is to provide great exposure for the university, um, uh, exposure you cannot buy otherwise, uh, and to help our great university with its academic mission, uh, and, th and that's that's a critical component. So 2.5 billion in exposure last year, uh, the athletic department provided for the university. Um, you know, I think nationally, the brand is bigger than it's ever been. You know, you, you look at just the athletic department, we got 19 sports and we're recruiting nationally, we're actually recruiting internationally as well as locally, and our brand is bigger in all of those buckets. You know, it, uh, it seems like the, the FAU brand uh, has become a household name. Our, heck, a lot of these players are now household names. Uh, and, and then locally, you, you know, you do see the, the FAU owl a lot more. You see a lot more alumni pride, um, and that's critical as well. Um, as we grow our fan base, you know, we're a little bit of a younger university, um, and so we don't have the older historical alums that a lot of places, the number, um, but we do have uh, a, a tremendous community that we represent, Broward, Palm Beach County, um, and, and we, we know this community coming on board, and you saw it in this arena last year with how loud it's been and how fun it was this community coming on board to, to really be the hometown team of what we like to call paradise. Uh, Coach May was talking about speeding up some of these uh, improvements that were maybe in the works for a while, but with the success that you guys had, you know, it kind of accelerated the time. What can an FAU fan, maybe he was here last year, coming back this year, what can he or she expect uh, in, in this arena just as far as aesthetic changes or uh, seating, you know, what, just can you talk a little bit about just the overall experience and how it may change from this season going into, the, uh, last season going into this season? You know, number one, last year with nine sellouts at the end of the year, we, we learned a lot. And so this year we've done a lot to improve the game day experience for the fans. Um, you know, there hadn't been a lot of sellouts in the history of this basketball program or this arena uh, prior to this, this past season. So, you know, in terms of the game day operation, I, I think the, the fans will see significant improvement in how we run that operation. Um, you know, in terms of the, the renovations, it's, it's mostly just been aesthetics for now. Um, our goal, but this is, is very much just the tip of the iceberg, our goal uh, is to fully renovate the arena, add a practice facility, uh, and, and enhance the entrance to the arena, make it more fan friendly. Um, and, 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 and even improve the visiting team locker room. We have, we have significant improvements across the board for the arena planned, um, but those weren't, um, you know, uh, the project is at a scope and size that weren't able to get that done in just a single summer. So the plans are in place for the future to, to, to fully renovate the arena. And, and what we did prior to this year was, was just to, to aesthetically improve the arena as much as we can. Um, the conference change, uh, now you're in a new conference, kind of like a, a little bit of a reset, right? But, but, but yet a continuation of, of hopefully the success from last season. Um, how does the, the, the increased exposure to that, right? I mean, you guys were on, like, last year, hard to, it's hard to find FAU on TV. This year, you'd be hard-pressed not to find them on TV. Like, if you look at that schedule, you're like, man, they're on TV a lot, and they're in some big games. And uh, it was, it was Coach 
Coach May was sort of talking about you guys had some opportunities, uh, like or you tried to schedule big games, so maybe you didn't have those opportunities, and now you have them, so you kind of take advantage of those. So maybe you could elaborate on that. Absolutely. You know, I, I think it's in order to, to, to be given the opportunity to participate in big games, you have to have a lot of success, right? You have to be a big name yourself. Um, so we, we not only had that success on the court last year and had the tremendous season that gave us those opportunities, but I also I, I commend Coach May because he didn't back down from a single one. You know what I mean? He didn't try to balance his schedule. We have an extremely difficult schedule because he took the biggest and, and best opportunity he could get um, with every game we scheduled and, and, and accepted all of those challenges, um, which our student athletes accept all those challenges too, and our players uh, back that as well. So that's what's exciting. We're going to play a national schedule and uh, the number of games on national television, not only in our league and the American, um, but non-con, is going to be a lot of fun this year. And it's great for our fans, too, to see us on that big stage. Uh, one thing about the non-conference schedule that I did want to ask about, I know it, it comes up a lot, particularly in South Florida, right? With conference change, you know, you always you lose a little something. And so I know you probably know where I'm going, the FIU rivalry, right? And a lot of people, and I know you, I know you are on the, the non-conference schedule, but what does that, what does that scheduling look like going forward as far as basketball? Like, like this year, they, they've, they've got the one game here. Is, would it be like next year you, you go there one game and then do you see that kind of being the, the, the scheduling ethos moving forward? Absolutely. And I think we should in all sports. You know, one, it makes sense financially for both of us, right? Travel costs right. makes sense for the student athlete experience. You know, students aren't traveling across the country to play a game. You play a game that's an hour away. Um, so I just, I just think it makes too much sense in all sports. So I know I spoke with their AD about it several times, and he's very supportive. And, um, and we encourage all of our coaches to schedule. And, uh, you know, certainly it, it, it just makes too much sense. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe Miami down the road too? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'd be thrilled. to. The more you can schedule, I think, in-state, locally. One, I think the fans, it, 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 it's pretty cool to you know, have a little in-state and have more in-state games. Um, and it's more relevant to our fans and the community. Um, but it's also student athlete experience and, and, and the financial piece of it are, are both uh, benefited from playing a local game, right?